In this video, we're going to go over the basics of our Hello World project. So, my screen will look a little different than yours, but we're going to be working through icons and that sort of thing. Um, if you're not already in a position where you can save your sketches that you will make in Arduino IDE, then you need to make sure you are there. Um, for people not in our little club, um, you'll just have to find a place to save it. Um, for my students in my club, you will find that you need to make sure you're saving your stuff into your Google Drive account. So make sure you are logged in and make sure you're in a position where you've either downloaded your project or where you can create your project and save it and make sure it gets uploaded to Google Drive so we do not lose it. So if you already have it, it will should be here. Um, we're going to work with Arduino, so we'll open our Arduino um, program here. We'll be working in RGBlock, so we will need to go to Tools, and then into RGBlock. However, this will require us to have an actual Arduino plugged in. So before we can do anything with RGBlock, we need to make sure we have the correct Arduino selected. Our group our club will be working with the Arduino Uno, so make sure that is selected. It'll be under the board here. Our next option will be a port. I'm choosing COM4. I believe in our computer lab here at the school it will be COM1, but make sure you choose the COM port that works. Um, as we go through this, if you noticing that your sketch will not upload, most likely you, are, um, you need to switch your COM port. Once we have chosen that, we'll go back into Tools and we will go into RGBlock. Now, we have RGBlock open. Our first project is called Hello World. Now, it doesn't have to be Hello World. We can say, you know, Hello Fred, Hello Mike, or Hello Sally, or whatever your name is. You can make it say whatever you want. Um, we personally, I'm going to stick with Hello World. So, we have our loop, and we've talked about the loop in class but just to review what we're talking about the loop is what will be run constantly something just think about something being stuck in a loop where it runs over and over and over and over again this is essentially what we're going to do our goal here is inside the loop when we're looking at our screen we want it to just continuously say hello world and we're going to try to do this as simply as possible so we need to think for a second. If we are having a conversation and it's introducing itself, it's saying hello to the world, what is it essentially doing? Well, it's communicating. It's trying to talk to us. So we need to find our communication button, open it, and we want it to print this information to the screen. Now inside our communication we have serial read, serial print in, different types of glue. We have multiple options here. But the obvious thing we want to do is we want the serial print in option. Now we will connect this and you'll notice that another little piece pops up that says message. That is where we will type what we want our Arduino to say to us. And again, I'm going to choose to say hello world. You can make your say whatever you would like. I just chose hello world because that's the most generic and um, from here, now we can upload to our Arduino. However, before we do that, I want to make sure we save our code. So I'm going to go to Save As. I'm going to choose Desktop. Again, my screen, I'm running Windows 10. Um, you may be running a different version of Windows, but just find your where you can choose to save it to your desktop. I'm going to choose to name it hello world and as you can see I already have one named that and it will ask me to overwrite that I'm sure I need to make sure that it is the RGBlock program file the ABP and I'm going to click save and yes I want to overwrite yours may not say that I've already had one saved and it saved my sketch or my what I've built in RGBlock here that is what I will eventually move to Google Drive and I'll show you guys um, how to do that or you have instructions in your um, notebooks and
And those of you who are not part of our club who are just watching this, um, you can save it however you want to save it. This is just how I want my students to save. Now, we are going to upload to the Arduino now. Now, what's going to happen when you click Arduino, upload to Arduino, the screen may go back to the original um, Arduino IDE screen. And it will actually show you the code that is written based off our little blocks that we've built. So I'm going to click Upload to Arduino. It will ask you to save it. Again, I'm going to click Desktop and this Hello World sketch. Click Save. Now you notice it took what we wrote in RGBlock and it actually wrote it in our the C programming language that the Arduino uses. So the blocks will automatically convert over to the actual programming language. That's what's great about this is as we go we can start seeing the connections between what we do here and what happens in the actual um, compiler here. So we have the loop serial print in hello world so we're telling it inside the loop to serial print hello world and it will do this over and over and over again now how do we know it's working how do we know that this thing is saying hello world constantly next to upload Arduino there's something called the serial monitor if we click on that you will see that it's just constantly scrolling hello world it's saying it over and over and over and over again now I'm going to close this and I'm going to change my message. I'm going to make it say, um, hey Brandon, Brandon being my first name, let's upload to Arduino. So it's uploading, it says done uploading, let's check our serial monitor. Hey Brandon, over and over and over again. So we can make it say whatever we want to say. I want you to go in try different things try making it say you know different things you've got multiple group members if you're inside my classroom have it say hello to everyone in the group practice changing it everybody needs an opportunity to do this um, if you're not sure where to go or what to do you can always rewind the video um, take a look back and figure out where you need to be from here we are going to eventually move into creating a or making an LED light come on and we'll get to that project in our next video.